Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in this video, I just wanted to explain how the speed testing works because I've been getting a lot of people asking me, why am I connected to the North Las Vegas a server? Why am I connected to Plano? People are calling the uh, test fake. And I've seen that happen over the last few months as well on my speed testing. So in the future, if anyone asks again, I'll just link them to this video. So how the UCLA speed testing works, before you even begin the test, it automatically selects the five best nearby servers, and then it connects you to the fastest response time. So I'm going to show you guys here the two that I ping off of the most in El Paso. We are so far southwest, we don't have a data center nearby. So here I'm going to show you guys, I'm automatically selecting. And the ones that we connect to here, one is Phoenix and the other is North Las Vegas. So I'm going to run a test. You just saw me do it. As you see, the ping time here is a 39 and the jitter is a 10. That is low. But again, remember, a sign of congestion can also be a higher ping. As you saw in the video this morning, the site had some congestion on it. As you saw, it took some time to initiate the test, although the speeds did pick up. But a sign of congestion can also be a higher latency. So right now, I'm going to choose my own server. I'll show you guys here. I'm going to choose my own server. And I'm going to pick a local one for El Paso. And so what's going to happen now, the signal is going to reroute from, from Phoenix back to El Paso. And it's going to cause for the, for the latency, the spike. As you see, there is no connection right now. It's taken a while. We don't have a data center nearby. And look, as you see, the ping is 143 and the jitter is 2. 88. So what just happened, the signal rerouted to Phoenix and then it came back to El Paso. And that's what caused the ping to spike so high. So what I'm going to do now at the conclusion of this test, I'm going to select the automatic server. And it's the same on the AT&T iPhone as well. So I'm just going to post this one. I'm not going to do the the iPhone one, because people say I'm, I'm purposely picking, you know, T-Mobile. And then here, I'm going to select automatically, as you just saw on the camera. So we can just clear this all up once and for all. So you guys can see that the, uh, about the, why, why I connect to the, to the ping in in phoenix and las vegas i'm not doing it on purpose i'm not picking picking the servers myself the the i let the app auto pick them because it is the best way to figure out where your um where your ping times are. i'm gonna go ahead and reset it i guess it didn't pick it up there service isn't the best in in my in my house so But yeah, I mean, you guys saw the example. Phoenix was 39. Then I switched to El Paso. It went up to 143 and the jitter was insane. So just just keep that in mind as you uh, as you do the testing. And then, you know, it does vary. I mean, every second or every minute, the tower is loaded differently. There's more people on it, less people on it. And like I said, a higher ping is also a sign of congestion. That's just that's just what it is. It's not there's no way around it. And I'm not I'm not faking anything. You guys can do some research for yourself. I've I've spoken with uh, representatives from UCLA and they've told me the same thing. And that's why I don't when I test and when I test and compare carriers I don't keep them on the same servers each because each of their uh, each of the carriers are pinging from different areas. 
AT&T, they're paying from Plano. If I put T-Mobile on Plano, T-Mobile's ping is going to be higher. So, again, you saw right now Phoenix was 57. El Paso is at 785. So, again, same thing happened. It went to Phoenix and rerouted back to El Paso. I'm not making this up. You just saw it live on camera. Just wanted to clarify that for everybody. Selecting the server automatically is the best way to do the speed testing on Ookla. So again, as you saw, 785. So now I'm going to go ahead and select it automatically again. See if it'll pick it up this time faster. But yeah, again, service is not the best here at the at the house. But again, you saw it. Phoenix 39, Phoenix 57, El Paso 143, and then 785 on the other test. Like I said, those were the, the El Paso one I selected myself. The Phoenix was automatically selected by the app. It's not me doing it to, to bash T-Mobile or, or make it an inconsistent test. It is just the auto the auto select is the best way to do the speed testing on the Ookla app. So if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you're notified when I upload content. Also follow the Tech Life social media outlets for more updates. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.